Hello, welcome. God bless you, glad you're here. Uh, if you're looking for today's daily devotion, you're in the right place. And if you're not looking for today's daily devotion, you're welcome here. Hope you hang out. Uh, just so you know what you're signing up for, our daily devotion videos is where we take a chapter from the Bible and we read them together. We post these videos five days a week. You can access them at any time. And this is a great tool if you uh, want to include more of God's Word in your daily routine because you're a follower of Jesus. And, um, you know, we understand as followers of Jesus pretty quickly in our relationship with Jesus how important that is. But some people do struggle with that, and a, and a tool to help can be a, a welcome addition to their day. And I wonder, too, if, if maybe there are some who might view this video who are just kind of curious about what the Bible says. You've heard it mentioned uh, several times throughout the course of your lifetime, but you're unfamiliar with it. You don't know really much about Jesus. Perhaps you've heard His name, but what's He all about, and what's going on with this whole Bible God stuff? Uh, you're welcome here, too. And these videos are a great way to um, help you journey through the Bible so that you can form your uh, own conclusions. We're reading the Gospel of John today, <clears throat> and today we're reading chapter 16. John chapter 16 is 33 verses, so still on the shorter side compared to some of the chapters we've, we've seen previously. And in John chapter 16, Jesus... Um, concludes his um, uh, narrative that uh, we started in John chapter 15. Remember, Jesus is spending his last evening with his uh, 11 disciples. Judas is uh, about to betray Jesus, which leaves 11. And, and he, these are, this is his, what's called the farewell discourse. And so these are Jesus' last words to his disciples before his crucifixion, and he's aware of that. And so that makes this uh, especially important. These words are especially weighty. He's, he's giving them um, the final, his final teaching before he goes to the cross. And in that, he talks about the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been promised in chapter 15. He says that sadness will be turned to joy. And those are the only two subsections in this chapter. So <clears throat> let's read now John chapter 16. And again, I'm reading from the New Living Translation, sometimes abbreviated as NLT. It says this, John chapter 16, beginning in verse 1. I've told you these things so that you won't abandon your faith. For you'll be expelled from the synagogues, and the time is coming when those who kill you will think they're doing a holy service for God. This is because they've never known the Father or me. Yes, I'm telling you these things now so that when they happen to you, you will remember my warning. I didn't tell you earlier because I was going to be with you for a while longer. But now I'm going to go away to the one who sent me, and not one of you is asking where I'm going. Instead, you grieve because of what I've told you. But in fact... It's best for you that I go away, because if I don't, the Advocate, that's a capital A proper noun, the Advocate won't come. If I do go away, then I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world of its sin and of God's righteousness in the coming judgment. The world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. Righteousness is available because I go to the Father, and you'll see me no more. Judgment will come because the ruler of this world has already been judged. There's so much more I want to tell you, but you can't bear it now. When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. He'll not speak on His own, but will tell you what He has heard, and He'll tell you about the future. He'll bring me glory by telling you whatever He receives from me, and all that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I've said, the Spirit will tell you whatever He receives from me. In a little while, you won't see me anymore, but a little while after that, you'll see me again. Some of his disciples asked each other, What does he mean when he says, In a little while you won't see me, but then you will see me, and I'm going to the Father? And what does he mean by a little while? We just don't understand. Jesus realized they wanted to ask him about it, and so he said, Are you asking yourselves about what I meant? 
I said, in a little while, you won't see me. But a little while after that, you'll see me again. I tell you the truth, you'll weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will suddenly turn to wonderful joy, and it'll be like a woman suffering the pains of labor. And when her child is born, her anguish gives way to joy because she's brought a new baby into the world. You have to sorrow now, but I'll see you again. Then you'll rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. At the time, you won't need to ask me for anything. I tell you the truth, you will ask the Father directly, and He will grant your request because you use my name. You haven't done this before. Ask using my name, and you will receive, and you will have abundant joy. I've spoken, I've spoken of these matters in figures of speech, but soon I will stop speaking figuratively and will tell you plainly all about the Father. Then you'll ask my name, and I'm not saying I'll ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you dearly because you love me and believe that I came from God. Yes, I came from the Father into the world, and now I will leave the world and return to the Father. Then his disciples said, At last you are speaking plainly and not figuratively. Now we understand that you know everything, and there's no need to question you. From this we believe that you came from God. <laughs> Jesus asked, Do you finally believe? But the time is coming, and indeed it is here now, when you'll be scattered. Each one of you is going to go his own way, leaving me alone. And yet I'm not alone, because the Father is with me. I've told you all of this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you'll have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, because I've overcome the world. That concludes John chapter 16. Uh, we have just four chapters remaining in the Gospel of John. So we're in the in the home stretch to conclude this book. Thank you so much for participating in today's daily devotion as we read together John chapter 16. If you know somebody else who might be blessed, uh, do feel free to share this. And I hope to see you next time for John chapter 17. God bless you.